Oh, we're recording. Oh, okay. Um, so I always set up my file for the, um, and you all may want to take some notes on this too, because it's a little funky sometimes. Um, we're just going to call it the uh, uh, 24 by 48. I'm so impressed. 24 x 48 uh, laser. Um, we're, nothing. So we're going to go down here. We're going to change. We're going to set up Corel to always open with the size of the bed of the laser. That that is your starting point on everything. So let me do the 48 by 24. There we go. Uh, number of pages one. Now this is an important thing. CMYK um, is the wrong color space. To be using with a laser and the reason is is that uh, lasers are pretty basic basically black cuts as a raster it, it, it cuts down in red cuts as a vector it cuts all the way through it's just a power thing um, lasers do not read cmyk for those so you have to change that to a uh, red green blue the old-fashioned one um, preview mode i always do enhance because it lets you see enough and not too much when you're looking at stuff. Um, so I'll go ahead and open that up and what's going to happen now is there every time you open up that will be your file. Now in order to make it so that it's always going to come up that way you go up here to tools and you'll see save setting as default. So you click that so now that will be your default file that opens up for that. Now so um, the next thing I do once I have this is the laser bed. Um, you want to set your initial everything to be that you're drawing a line or you're drawing a box or anything. You want to have it as a vector cut and you will change it back to a raster. It's much easier to go that direction than having it as a black line and going to a cut. And the reason is is that if you accidentally miss one going the old way you have to, it's more difficult to go back in and change it and recut it because it always does raster first then vector so you have to if, if you want to do a vector you can just click on the red ones and it'll just do those so let's uh, go ahead now in order to do that if I draw a line here it's going to be a black line so the way you change the default in Corel, uh, there's a way to do it through menus, but the easiest way, let me delete that, is to go ahead over on your palette. Now you know that if you right click um, on a, the palette, you change the line color. You left click, you change the fill color. If you right click or left click without anything selected, I'm going to go here to red. I better look down here. I can see. I'm going to hit red, and this will come up, and it'll be a document default. And since we're working with uh, graphic materials, you want to make sure that the graphic is clicked. And now we hit OK. And now you will notice that every time you draw a line, it's a it's a red line. Any does that make sense with everybody? Okay, so we, but we also notice up here that it's a five point line, which is the standard that it comes up with. So the same thing you do with choosing the color, you choose the line size to hairline, which is a vector cut, and it'll come up the same thing. And so now you hit OK, all right? And then we're going to do a test square. We'll just do a square here. There's a box. Okay, we have a red line, and if you notice, it's a hairline. So now that is a vector. So it's set up now for the entire system. Again, you, you delete that. You come up here to Tools, and you hit Save System Default one more time. Now, every time this opens up, you'll have the size of the laser, and you'll, your cutting lines will be, um, will be there. Now, you can do this with all sorts of things. If you say you want to do a text, and... Uh, Let me do an A. Oh, well, let me delete that. You can also set up your initial text 
up here. So you wanted, oh, Batman Forever, I like that. Oh, that's I'm gonna, um, and since I don't have any text selected, exact same uh, fall, uh, fly outcomes. Now this will be a, I'm going to click that to artistic text because you can do a little bit more with it. Okay, so you do that, you come up here and you do your save as default. So this is, you notice at the very top line, we're calling this the 24 by 48 laser. You can name it anything. So every time you open this file, you'll have a 24 by 48 window that has a red fine line for cutting and it will have that Batman font every time you go to make a font. You can change it later. So once you have that, you're set. Um, this file now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and close it. Uh, we'll go, uh, yeah, why not? Um, just to have it. So now we're going to open up a new file, which this is new file or open old file. Hopefully I click that and it should. Uh, now, if it's set up, you go ahead and click this down here and it will not, um, it will never ask you that. So when you click new, it'll always pop up that with that file name. So how come it defaulted and went back to the CMS? I didn't see that. Well, I did the same thing. I just deleted. Let me look. It did? Not supposed to. Come on now. The best thing to do is draw a red line and see at the bottom. It did. Okay, it's all right. First problem. Welcome to Corral. Okay, let's do a new document. Let's make sure we got this. Nope. Uh, It didn't save it. So, I apologize, it should have. Everything file we're going to do new from template. Let's see what we got here. Well, I should have be able to. What was that? Welcome screen, new document. Sorry about this. Color palette. This should have worked. I apologize. Maybe go to YouTube, you guys. I'll be here in just a second. Okay. We're going to start again. I don't know how to not open recent. Oh, gosh. And you know you can go down to open recent, it's the last one. There it is. Okay, there it is. There it is. That's the first one I did. And it did it's still RGB. So I'm gonna go ahead and tools and I'm gonna save as default. So that should save it. Okay, we're back on. Okay, we're back. So I'm assuming you all have worked on this before. I'm going to show you a couple of things here that I don't know if you know are there. If they are, I apologize because I'm not sure where everybody is. For laying out, say you have a piece of wood that's 10 by 12, and you want to work within that area. If you go over to the line here on the side, or the line on the top, and you click in an empty space and hold down, you can drag a measurement over. So we're going to go ahead and do 12. I say our piece of wood is 12 by 10. Grab the top and come down 
24, 4, 12, there it is. So right now, right here is your 12 by 10 piece. So all of your work, you zoom in, will be in that location. So the rest of the, the material is just off. Now what's nice about this is say you need to set up, um, uh, say you're going to be doing a checkerboard or something like that, and you need to have very precise measurements on what you're doing. You can drag as many of these as you want across, and you can set up many boxes to, um, you can set up many boxes that will divide it up into areas that you can work on, which, which helps if you're doing like a whole bunch of different things that are about the exact same size or different sizes. So you can go ahead and set this grid up. Now that grid will stay there and you won't be able to, you can move them at any time. Now, here, um, you can just scroll in and there's really no way I know of to do it no, other you, than... you can. Um, you can this corner to there. Oh, is that what it... Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, no, actually corner. right there. Well, yeah. no, I'll, I'll be honest. I don't do that. Well, I guess you could. The, the reason I don't do it is... Um, let me open... I'm going to open one of my files here and show you the workspace. The workspace in Corel is infinite in size and you need to use it. The, the space in the middle is just what you're going to be cutting. You, it's, sometimes it's really good to think of the entire infinite workspace to be, um, uh, let's see, my disk, oh, there it is. All right. I'm going to go to boxes here. Apologize. Uh, for some reason, the the program is not uh, showing me um, uh, is not showing me the actual pictures of my. Let me try this. There we go. Enough. Almost got it, guys. There we go. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and open this file. Here is it's it's a little box that I make. Um, it has I'll zoom in so you can see it's an Art Deco box with the sides on it. And you can see that the only place I'm working is uh, that's going to cut is there. But a lot of the work you do you can do outside the box and then bring it in so you can have all your elements with you. It's best to only put in here what you're working on because it'll cut. Because if you forget a small element or something and you put it in there, the job is going to run much longer to get down in there. Now, uh, to give you a real quick point on lasering, when you move from left to right on the laser, it is much faster than moving up and down. So if you were to take this line of boxes and run them this direction, it would take you five, five minutes. If you were to take that same box and turn it up and down, it would triple the time it takes to cut. Because of the way the laser is set up, it moves very slow in this direction, very fast in that direction. So you all